At a college on the lake shore, there has been a problem troubling golfers trying to enjoy this spring weather. 1300 Signs Riley Mack gets to the bottom of it. Here at Muskegon Community College, golf balls have been disappearing from the greens. Now we're teeing up to solve a mystery. Among the greens of the University Park golf course, there's a hidden gem of beautiful natural landscapes. We have hawk nests, we have baby skunks, we have groundhogs, we have a number of dens around here. But beyond the birds chirping and the trees swaying in the breeze, was a mystery. We've always had a problem with the golf balls disappearing. Stumping golfers and staff alike. Huh? What? Until there was proof. You can see the prints. Kurt Hildwine is the park superintendent. I have a very nice job. 69 acres of uh, beautiful landscaping and I don't have to deal with people a whole lot. He found a pattern with the missing balls. We just started noticing golf balls appearing at specific holes. That was when he finally caught the bandits. Oh yeah, look at this shot. It was a family of foxes. If you just sit here and observe them long enough, you'll see them playing with a ball, playing with a stick, or playing with a dead animal. Hildwine says they've been stealing from golfers for years. Just like your dogs at home, you get them toys and they love throwing them around. He says the little thieves have actually attracted more golfers. Just draw people's attention and then they want to come out and find out where they are. He loves that it's part of his course's charm. That's why a lot of people golf. It's for the crazy game of golf, but it's also to get out and see nature. Hildwine bought a new camera so he can see how many golf balls were inside the fox's den. He looks forward to figuring out the extent of their crimes. As for now, it seems like stolen golf balls will be par for the course. Reporting in Muskegon, Riley Mack, 13 on your side.